Hi, my name is Maurizio. I'm Sienna. We're from Southeast in Manchester. Uh, we're going to teach you how to make uh, pizza fritta today. Uh, very simple, uh, very street food, Napolitan street food. Uh, we're going to use ricotta, mozzarella, uh, tomato uh, for, uh, for the insides and some parmesan. And then we got 200 grams of zero zero flour, 3 grams of yeast, 6 grams of salt, some olive oil, ricotta and Mozzarella and water, water. 120 ml of water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 200 grams of flour, 120 ml of water, 3 grams of yeast, 6 grams of salt. That's all we need for Napolitan dough. Okay, so we're gonna put this one in there. We're gonna put some air in there. Okay, while I do this, I'm gonna put the 3 grams of yeast in our room temperature water and just give that a stir. Okay, perfect. So make sure it's all nice and dissolved. Okay, I'm gonna put three, uh, six, the six grams. grams in here. So it's about three pinch. Okay, I'm gonna mix again. Okay, while that one is all dissolved, we're gonna put in, in the flour and then we're gonna start to do our mix. Okay, so there's our yeast and water. I'm just gonna pour that in. Okay, and then we're gonna start to mix everything up. Okay, with this you need to get dirt a bit, so it won't take long at all to, uh, to do that. Okay, so what we're we'll saying, what we're gonna make uh, the inside with? So we're gonna, for the inside, we're gonna use mozzarella, ricotta, some tomato, and that's it. But obviously yeah. you can put whatever basil. you want in, and basil, yeah. you can put whatever you want in, any Anything that you find on pizzas, everything. Yeah, this is like calzone, but instead of put in the oven, okay, we're gonna fry this one. Okay. Let's put it down like that. So with your pan, press it down and roll it. Okay. <laughs> to do this is, you know, it takes about 10 minutes to do it. Okay, it won't take long at all. Okay. So once you've done that for around 10 minutes, you can then it's time to put it in the fridge. So you put it in a bowl with some cling film on top and leave it in the fridge for At between least. 24 and 72 hours. Okay, perfect. Always in the fridge. Always okay. in the fridge, don't take it out. So your fridge should be done about the 4 degrees. So, okay. So stretch out a bit. Okay. While well, we do that. That's done now. I'm going to press it down and roll it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have a nice dough bowl. Okay, put it back in here. Okay. Cover the hole. Let me put a little flour so I make sure it doesn't stick. Okay. That's it. So your dough is done now. That's the dough we made before. Okay. So this one is more or less 36 hours now. A little flour in service. Okay. You see how soft it is? Ready for free. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this one, yeah? Yep. Okay. So to press it down, if you see, I'm pressing with the inside of my hands, not with the top of the finger, okay? Otherwise, you're just gonna do holes. You don't want that. Okay, while it's done, get a little excess flour. And obviously, if you do have a bigger pan or you have a fryer, make it bigger. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so with the spoon now, let's, you wanna put ricotta on here now? Yep. While it's here, I'm gonna put some mozzarella. Okay, we don't want it too big or too small. Usually we use pure latte mozzarella. This one, this is buffalo. But we let it dry a little bit, so it's not much, it should have been much sure it's coming out. Okay, that's very good, Sienna. Put some parmesan. 
So instead of putting the tomato on first, we put the cheeses on first. Yeah. And what is the reason for that? The, 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 that's where the, 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 the pizza fritter is. Isn't it? If you use ricotta, because it sticks with the dough. So just ricotta? Yes. Course. Okay, so what do we go here? A oh, we'll little tomato. So in there we have tomato, olive oil and a few leaves of basil. And you just give that a stir, a few pieces of salt, and then that's done. So you just pop that on there. Spread it around. Tomato, a little basil. Okay. And then olive oil. Okay. Because this is a small one, not used as many ingredients because it's small, but if you want to use it, if you want to do a big one, you could put more on. Okay, the, the oil is already uh, hot. It's hot, so that in there it's just cooking oil, be. vegetable oil, and that's on 240 degrees. So make sure we seal everything properly. Okay, so it won't go anywhere because as soon as you heat the oil, everything is gonna uh, go hot. Yeah, it's gonna go hot. Okay, so that's what we got. Look how nice is that. Yeah, so that's ready to go in the yeah. pan now. Here we go. See, it's coming up already. So, whilst that's frying, I'll go yeah. with the ingredients again. We use 200 grams of zero zero flour. We use three grams of yeast, six grams of salt, and that was for the end 120 milliliters of room temperature water. That was for the dough. And then for the filling, we've used some ricotta, mozzarella, tomato with tomato, olive oil, and a few basil leaves in it, and salt. Okay, so what okay. we're gonna do now, we're gonna make some tomato, just a little tomato to put on top. Okay, so this one, if you see now, all you took is shape. Okay, so very gentle. I'm gonna try to roll it down. Make sure you put it on the other side. Okay, so in there we've just got some olive oil and one clove of garlic. Yeah. So we're just gonna put two and a half full of tomato in there. That's and that's it. to heat it up and put it on top. So with this dough you can actually make pizza, so that instead of putting it in a fryer, you just put it in the oven. Okay. Okay, so the tomato is just heating up now, and that will go on top of the calzone, and then that's it. You've got your calzone. Yeah, calzone is almost ready now. You know, this one, if we go to Naples, it's, it's all over. Everywhere. It's prop, yeah, it's proper street, street food. Is. Okay. And then if when you come to our festival. Uh, the Festival Italiana, our son is making uh, calzone pizza, pizza pizza. So, uh, good. That looks very nice, huh? Eh? Mm. Let's smoke that one there. There's some nice fresh garlic, uh, basil. Awesome. Okay, so that's that's our calzone. That looks so good. Let's put some olive oil on top. So could you put like ricotta on top of this as well? Uh, you could do, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Uh, that's it. So that, that that's our calzone fritto. We have this in uh, Salvis um, all over, yep. Northern Quarter, uh, John Dotto Street Cucina, and the Corn Exchange uh, Salvis Mozzarella. So that's it, that's our calzone. Uh, enjoy, thank you.